People who feel Barack Obama gets unusually negative media coverage were excited when the Pew Center's Project for Excellence in Journalism released a study recently that found coverage of Obama was 9% positive and 34% negative. A chart accompanying the study showed that, for example, Rick Perry had 32% positive coverage and 20% negative. The enthusiasm among liberal bloggers was partly about how the research would blow away the bogus conservative complaints about the liberal media. But we really don't need new research for that. And then there's the question of whether this study's any good. The main concern in our view is whether it really makes sense to code media coverage into categories like positive and negative. A story that reports on Herman Cain's rise in the polls, we're told, would be scored positively, while a story about Obama that mentioned unemployment or Washington partisanship would be flagged as having negative statements. Someone mentions that Michelle Bachman gets migraines? That's negative. It just seems obvious that there's a problem in coding reporting of reality as being positive or negative treatment of any people who have some connection to that reality. Newt Gingrich's coverage has been the most negative, the study says. Okay, but his campaign has been marked by a variety of scandals and setbacks. So is that coverage biased against him or a reflection of what's happening? The idea that all good journalism is somehow neutral strikes us as unhelpful to media critics of any ideology. 